I went out this week and uh, I had a couple of minutes between some work and I said, man, I just want to, I just want a little, a little pick me up, a little pick me up from a YouTube video. And uh, I went looking for the Andy Hunter show, Adricos. I couldn't find them. Sad. I searched Adricos again in YouTube and found the M7. Now there's maybe eight videos of the M7. So I phone up Robert, Bob, time to go. And he tells me that this group, the M7, are sort of like the originals, like the original six NHL. Like these guys, the M7, and one of the videos literally says the Magnificent Seven. Uh, there's not enough videos there. It's all just Andy and one other guy named Suckahorn. <laughs> okay, so Bob tells me a little bit that these guys were like the original sort of watch YouTubers and uh, it was interesting times to say the least. So um, I couldn't find Adricos and uh, Archie's completely lost his mind. So I can't watch any more Archie videos. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, where are all the originals? And where are the ones that I don't know about? Um, who were the original sort of watch YouTubers? Because uh, there's a lot of watch YouTuber channels that have sort of turned into um, <laughs> the shopping network. All you're getting is uh, hands and watches 24-7. And um, I'm slowly getting tired, or quickly getting tired, I'm whatever. I'm getting tired of the hands and cases and no faces uh, version of YouTube videos. There are a few people out there doing it, and, and it's a good time. Uh, shout out to David Schwartz, uh, Average Joe, um, Alton, SoCal Watch Reviews. Uh, Dave uh, at Just The Watch. Dave, I think that's the guy. Um, they're trying to shake it up a little bit. They're doing something more than just uh, watches and cases and uh, hands and no faces. So there are a lot of YouTubers out there that I'm really enjoying regardless of uh, the fact that it's Just The Watch or it's A Watch. But it's gotta be interesting. Um, it's a lot to do with personality, I'm sure. But when it comes to um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of channels turning into the shopping network. Um, if all you're going to show is just watches, you know, maybe I want more. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, I'm enjoying some of these uh, the the change, the uh, live streams that are being done. Uh, those are fun. Uh, but I'm not sitting down for an hour and watching uh, guys talk about watches either. I, I enjoy a little bit of it. But uh, I originally went to YouTube to be entertained. And uh, I don't know. I'm not getting that same entertainment value out of the videos like I used to. Is it watches? Uh, Jeff McMahon talks about it. And um, who else? Uh not so obvious watches what's that guy's name Australian guy not so obvious watches he talks about it and I think even Bobby legs did a video the other day which was nice uh, he was talking about the same thing sort of uh, exhaustion with watches so um, if you're interested in something that's not on YouTube um, check out at caliber 321 so uh, that's at CAL I B R E three two one, um, and then follow his link in his bio to um, 
to his written word you know the pen sort of it's a blog anyways it's better sometimes in uh, watching crummy YouTube videos so hey youtubers doing watches how about more than just the watches and the cases and hands and no faces let's uh, let's try and uh, pick it up a little bit would you and uh, Adricos if you're out there we miss you uh, or at least I do I always enjoyed the humor um, I like it when it uh, skirts on um, you know a little bit of controversy uh, so tell it like it is I'm curious who M7 is they are the mysterious seven that's it for me enjoy your day enjoy your watches a uh, little wrist check Seiko SRP 775 uh, can't quite get enough of it here lately have yourself a good one. Here's some footage of the highway that I'm driving on. Have a good one. Bye.